Hello and welcome to the Astro Flower and uh, this is going to be a reading for the eclipse that is coming up on the 30th of April and it's going to be leading into the monthly reading. So basically uh, if you don't know anything about eclipses, basically it's when the moment obviously when the moon goes in front of the sun and it's in the perfect position where you can have uh, a full eclipse or partial eclipse and stuff like that. And what we've got coming up on the 30th of April during Taurus season is a partial eclipse. And it's going to be in the Antarctic region and in South America. So going up and touching basically the root chakra. So it appears to be sort of like, uh, you know, playing on anything that's connected to your root. And usually uh, when eclipse happens, so magnetically what happens is, is it acts a little bit like a focal lens for the Earth, so that it creates this magnetic pull even more towards the Sun, which is going to pull the Earth's energy uh, and uh, make it a little bit more sort of accentuated uh, across the board uh, and heighten those elements that are within all of our flowers. So, uh, our astro flowers, that is. <laughs> um, so... And uh, yeah, so it makes this, it pulls it like a, like a, like a, like a magnet, if you like. Um, and in so many cultures, it's been tied into auspicious occasions. Uh, so uh, people sort of prophesize with it and etc. Uh, certainly um, people see it as a changing moment uh, between two periods. But this year is a little bit special. It's quite nice. It's quite interesting. Uh, first things first, we have that partial eclipse on the 30th of April, which is in the Taurus season. And we'll be going into the elements a little bit on that. Um, and also, uh, there is just after that, on May the 15th, I think it is, or the 16th actually, uh, is a total lunar eclipse, which is from the blood moon as well. Um, the fire moon, as it were, the blood moon, the red moon, <laughs> uh, which is coming up also in Taurus season. Um, then we have another eclipse, and this time it's total eclipse, and it's up um, in the region of Russia. You're going to be able to see it also if you're in Eastern Europe and Northern Eastern Europe, and also in the UK, you should be able to see part of it. Please go and check out on the internet exactly just sort of where you are. I don't have the maps at hand, um, but yeah, it roughly goes into there. But that's funny enough because that's on the 25th of October, so that's in Scorpio season. Now, if you know anything about the Astro Flower, if you don't, go down in the links below. Uh, you can discover a lot about the Astro Flower, about the petals, about the elements and about the qualities and how it all sort of works together as a tool to help you sort of um, sort of uh, develop your life. It's a personal development tool, basically, uh, and that could be within your business and that could be within emotions and relationships and work you need to do in your lives. We all need, we've all got a bit of work to do. At some point so um yeah so the next total eclipse is on the 25th of october so that's in um scorpio season so let's just have a look at those two flowers there now they're opposite one another within the um astral uh the astrology uh sort of ring as it were um and they're so they're opposite each other they're both fixed signs but the funny thing is is taurus is two-thirds of uh earth and one-third um, fire, whereas Scorpio is two-thirds two water and one-third air. And when you can see this between these two signs here, where you have air, well, I'm, here on, on the lower parts of the petals in one, two, three, four, in Scorpio, you have fire in one, two, three, four, in Taurus. And where you have the earth, you have water in Taurus. So Scorpio and Taurus are very, um, very connected uh, between these two signs. They do actually make, they're very complementary. Um, and when you look at them as lovers and when you invert the flowers upon one another, they do work really well. So, um, and the most interesting thing here is probably that earth, um, that air and fire. And what we can see is at the surface, is the cardinal fire that comes in through Taurus, that comes from the Aries, and the cardinal air that comes up through Scorpio, which comes from Libra. They're going in either sense to one another, and they sort of, one 
is a provocation from the exterior, that's Taurus, in the way of passions and etc. And then it's provoking ideas and mental stimulation, which comes up through Scorpio. So basically, on this um, partial eclipse, and it's to do with the root, and I would have thought it's going to be the lower petals that are going to be affected the most, you may get a situation where the passion of the eclipse that is coming up on uh, the 30th of uh, April is just like the starting gun. So it's like the first domino that falls before we can get to the whole big dominoes that actually do fall. And because we get from a partial to a total, and we have those lunar eclipses as well, the one on the May the 17th and November the 5th as well, just after the other one, it's like it's a beginning and an end date. So this, between the 30th of April going right through to um, the 5th of November, uh, it's going to be interesting what sort of things are sort of uh, instigated during this eclipse and how they they follow all the way through to the eclipse that are coming up in October and the eclipse in November, which will be the finality of it all. OK, so Scorpio, Scorpio used to be um, back in uh, back in the days of Babylon and etc. Scorpio was actually a weighing machine. So you had the two claws of Scorpio and you'd hold it by the tail and you can weigh uh, goods and what have you on it. So it's a little bit about judgment and Scorpio and and Libra were certainly signs that were that were made after uh, we changed from a 10 to a 12 month period, uh, and they were taken out of uh, taken out of Virgo and Sagittarius. Um, so it is a bit, a little bit about sort of judgment in a way. And Scorpios have certainly, um, you know, they're very concerned with sort of human rights and that sort of thing. So that could well be have something to do with it on a global sort of sense. We did do world readings on what we were calling the Taurus event, and this could well be it. Uh, although I was, you know, inclined more to the May the twelfth, this could well be the, the the time when it actually sort of happens. So the Moon, with its twenty eight uh, day cycle, is just a reflection of the Sun because the Sun's most perfect rotation section is twenty eight point five days. It's an average of 30.6, uh, 30.5 days. Now, once you take into the North Pole and the equator, which gives us our 30 days and 31 days of the Gregorian calendar. So, and that's why February is 28 days to respect the moon. And that comes with Aquarius, the human side, the washing away. Now, I did mention this in Cymatic TV as well. And you may want to go and see that when I did an energy update. And I was talking about a tsunami of water like emotions that's going to be coming through so you might want to go and have a look at that as well on our sister channel so let's get without further ado let's get on uh with your reading shall we for this eclipse and as i said uh we'll be reading the eclipse uh reading from tarot cards doing a full flower uh and then well, there's a separate video coming out where you will be getting the um uh, monthly readings so, because obviously it starts off with the eclipse, May, it's, well, it sort of finishes uh, April on the uh, eclipse, and it's starting off May from that eclipse. So we're going to be going from one to the other. I will be separating this into two uh, videos, which you will be able to get the link for the second one, which is the monthly one, where we will be at the end pulling six cars to just see what that six month period is between those two eclipses. So if you're ready, strap in this is going to be a bit of a journey and, and don't forget you know this may not resonate for everybody this is obviously a general reading so please take it as it resonates with you certainly with the eclipse one it's not personal it's more of a guidance more than anything else okay so without further ado Taurus, let's get into your reading well those two what definitely want to come out there is if bah, bah, bah. This is the obviously the uh, the effects of the solar eclipse on you guys and how it affects you, uh, how this instigator affects you. And it's going to be affecting you over the next sort of six months till we get the finality of the second solar eclipse, uh, which I spoke to in the uh, in the um, 
uh, in the in the previous bit in the entrance of this video. So let's just have a look here. Go through this. Everyone seems to be getting the Eight of Swords somewhere along the line, and it's coming back within you. What is all these swords? They, in fact, I'll tell you what, it's a lot of the swords is coming out in all of the reasons that I've done so far. Um, and yeah, so it seems to be, this is obviously not affecting you uh, directly. This is what the initial uh, event is, which we went into on the, um, on the world reading. If you haven't seen that, go into our channel and you can find it. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description below. Um, I'll try. I will put a link in the description below. So this is the spiritual. This is the material side of life. Um, and let's just see how things are going. On the Certainly on the emotional sort of side, uh, it's going to provoke the idea of... Um, because it's very mental, this shock from the eclipse, it seems to be that. And everyone seems to be getting these cards coming up. Certainly the swords that are going on here. Um, and as it's coming through, it's going to be affecting you, Taurus. Seems like it's going to be affecting you more in your physical realm, in your material realm, more than anything else. So um, for the first sort of month or so, I, you know, we'll have a look at what happens in your monthly reading, which will be coming up after this. Uh, but it seems to be affecting you uh, mentally uh, on a lot of stress maybe for you uh, in this period what it if you look at the world reading we went into uh, how it might affect uh, sort of finances and stuff like that and it seems to be playing out in your cards uh, through this let's just go through the emotional side first uh, for it so the shock of what the solar eclipse is it um, sort of shakes our root chakra uh, and then it finally comes up to um, up to the heart really more than anything else chakra uh with the uh the eclipse in october it may give you it, 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 the, the the shock that comes in will may give you the reaction of kind of going okay in that case i need to get serious now i'd like to uh let's get married sort of scenario because that's what you've got at your base you know the four of wands is definite uh, marriage cards and then you've got the lovers there. So it may be a case of, it may make you sort of, it may provoke that idea of kind of going, I want to be with that person. I want to consecrate that marriage or consecrate this relationship. And it could be in a way of, um, you know, moving in together. It could be, you know, but it may provoke that sort of, that, that eclipse may be provoking that sort of sensation within you. Um, and it's discovering, it'll help you to discover a lot about yourself and your emotional sort of state, really. That's what the the shock's going to do. That's what the eclipse appears to be sort of playing into your emotional sort of side. And as it gives you that shock emotionally, you may turn around to yourself and you're kind of going, in that case, I really want to just, you know, I want to get with that person I love. You know, that sort of thing. And if you don't have that person, then, you know, that's, you You may start lifting your head kind of going, you know, do you know what I mean? I'd like to be with someone. I'd like to be holding somebody's hand um, and walking down the street with them. Um, <clears throat> but you may not, you may feel that like it's not the right time for you. That's what it is with the eight of swords. Uh give you that sensation that, that that emotional shock is is putting a lot of pressure on you to commit to relationships to your emotions and stuff like that and you may feel that you've got too much on your plate and you may feel like you don't want to commit to that sort of side but if i was you i would okay uh taurus it will help you to get unstuck in your life it will give you a lot more focus and clarity on your material sort of side Talking about your material sort of side, well, on the initial pathway, it's basically you're going down that journey, you're heading off with that three of wands, the harbour master, and the you know the the shock from whatever happens uh, over this next week or two weeks uh, from the from the uh, from the initiation of the this solar eclipse. It's a partial solar eclipse, so it's going to sort of 
knock us sideways rather than knock us flat down. That's what it seems to be like for everybody. And it's going to force you to go on a, it's going to be the igniting a certain journey of, I want success in my life. And it it appears to be a situation that if it is financial, which we do went into the world readings, it it could be causing you a lot of trouble it, where you might have to walk away from a job or there might be that that business might go under and etc. And it might be causing you a lot of stress and strain on the material side of life, especially because you've got the five of pentacles in your everyday sort of situation, which is can be loss of money. This is not definitive. Be clear about this. These are advising you. So basically, they're sort of saying, if you don't go on that journey and looking for that king of pentacles, that assurance or that that um, uh, sitting within, uh, you know, your 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 position of wealth and your position of where you are in your job. If you're not looking for it, it may it may come and bite you on the backside by the looks of things. So Taurus, if I was you, I would push it on the material side. Yeah, it's going to be a bit nail biting. It's going to be a bit nail biting and it's going to cause you stress. But as you move from one stage to another, from this this initiation or from this initi uh, from this um, this this solar eclipse in the um, in in the end of April, right in your sort of season, it's going to push you on to realizing that actually love is the way. Best way to describe it: that money can't buy you love. <laughs> there's, there's a song in there somewhere, surely. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to lose all your money. It just means basically, you know, the five of uh, pentacles is not necessarily, it is, it could be financial loss, but then again, you, you might have to invest in yourself in order to get your riches. So if you invest in yourself, that means you've got to give your money away to something in order to get the money back. And it'd be interesting to see how it plays out on the monthly reading, which is going to be coming up on this. But it's it from this initial solar eclipse, it's definitely got to head down that journey. If you don't head down those journeys, it could be quite, uh, you could get caught off guard. So it, this is, as I say, it's just a guidance. It doesn't necessarily have to be this way. If you're on the ball, you'll avoid a lot of it. And the reason I say going back to love and stuff like that, because inside you, you've got the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is all about someone um, you want to offer your love up to something or someone or a situation and stuff like that. So it risks to be really emotional for you guys, uh, this coming um, this coming effect of this eclipse uh, for this first one. So let's just go into the monthly readings, which is a separate video. Obviously, uh, you know, thank you for being here. Uh, all you Tauruses and any other people watching from any other signs. But um, yeah, lovely to have you here. If you're not subscribed, why not subscribe? You know, you get more content from us um, in the future. And clicking that bell, you'll get the notifications. So then you'll be able to see the videos when they're available. Okay, so this is your, can you Adam and Eve it? Can you believe it? Really? Um, this is the reading for the month of May. Look at that. What a beautiful, those two definitely want to come out together. What a beautiful start of this reading. I will see you over there on the month of May. Have a lovely equinox.